big connection uh, with Falmouth and with Penryn. I um, I love Cornwall. I, th I feel really blessed to have grown up here. My great grandfather, he was he worked in Falmouth docks. Uh, he was in the navy. It was pretty typical for most uh, young people to leave as soon as they could. So I left to go to university. I went to Kent University. Um, studied history and theology there for three years. I felt I, I felt God had spoken to me about returning to Cornwall and I had a very specific word from Genesis um, about going back to the land of my fathers. It's been quite a journey. Oh, I'm just moved by by the beauty of life, people, nature, plants, animals. <laughs> I, I'm just on this continuous goof out. <laughs> I'm so moved by what I see that I want to capture it and I want to try and bottle up the, the things that I see and the, the, thing, the ideas and the the moments. I, I think I, I'm more, I'm quite childlike. I'm in constant awe at the the landscape around me and the constant awe at God's creation, what he's made. plan was to just come for a year and study and go back to Essex, which is where we lived. And then after being here for a while, I decided to beg my wife to join me <laughs> here. And eventually she joined yeah. me here and then the whole family came. That was, and that was that. And I was saying to my wife before she came, I'm, I'm excited for you to come down because I just knew that it, it would be a wonderful environment for her to come in and plug in, and for my children to come in and plug in. So yeah, it's been fantastic. <laughs> amazing the people it's like a, a family now and there's amazing people that you get to meet constantly i think coming down to cornwall is almost like we've gained hours it feels being down here we just have so much more time in the day trying to close this garbless book with friends as all of us Bomb the desk, but can't you buy some miscellaneous friends? So I guess the, the sea has been a big part of my um, my time in Falmouth and um, it's definitely been like a very formative thing for me. Um, there's times when it has brought me like the peace I really didn't know could be found and times when it's brought me real joy and times when it's literally been my work. You want everyone to feel it and everyone to experience it, but um, I don't think there's anything like just being fully submerged under the water. It's not about career for me. I, at the beginning, I said that to God. I said, I'm willing to be a pastor, but I, I'm not doing this in some sort of career. I do this uh, in a, as a way of serving you. I didn't really imagine myself in this sort of place after 10 years, really. I didn't imagine it. 
I couldn't really see that far ahead. But when, when we arrived, you know, we were very much in that young family stage of them all going to school. Uh, so within 10 years, you know, Eli's in Canada now, Lois is in Bath, Abby is in Exeter, and Esme's sort of going into, you know, do her A-level soon. It's a great place to grow up in mean, Cornwall. And they've, they've obviously been very involved uh, in the church as well. You know, even, even to today, they're still helping out in, when they're here. I think the whole COVID crisis has been really challenging. The sort of the overall feeling of like being unable to gather has been really difficult. But as with anything, there's positives and negatives. I think there's been really some really good things that have come out of it. A lot of people have really shone through this. And I think as, as well, a lot of people have sort of, uh, it's forced people into that place of really developing their relationship with God rather than being reliant upon, you know, just a weekly thing you turn up to. And, you know, I'm sure that this is going to, there's going to be good that will come out of this, this period. But it, I'm not going to lie, it has been a challenge, a bit, been a stretch. So they're yeah. still only really young, there's like what, eight and six now, and, and they change, right? They're yeah. just new people every year and stuff, so but overall they're a joy, yeah. Yeah. Definitely being done in the realm of their personalities have Come grown, more, they've yeah. become more confident, especially our daughter Bria. Mm. She's become more confident, more... Just happier. <laughs> yeah, now it's been, like, Harbour's just been an absolute dream. I didn't choose it, mm. and um, I got up on Sunday morning and went to the nearest church <laughs> and happened to be Harbour, and I walked in the first day and heard uh, Roger speak, um, and, and what he shared at that time was so true and so authentic. And, and so spirit filled and so real. I say the atmosphere in, in Harbour is tangible. I feel like you can touch it, like you can feel it. Worship and where the words that you can just feel the stillness. Stillness is kind of what it is. As I say, the heartbeat's just a bit slower down here. I feel as though I can never capture things around me. God's creation, the beauty and the majesty is is everywhere. And it's not just in pretty views, it's in the tiniest leaf of grass and the, the billions of little chemical reactions going on inside a inside a uh, inside a one cell I can never really replicate the beauty or the things that I've experienced on these walks or the places I guess it's my job to try and show this to other people and try to get them to feel moved as moved as I do and to say wow this world this world around us this life around us these places are just so filled with the light of God. I would say that Harbour as a church leads people to a place of community. There's definitely been moments where I've just stopped and looked around the room and just thought, how did I end up here? Like, I didn't realise it was possible to have friends that felt so much like family. The terminology that's being thrown around and being used is socially distancing ourselves, but I found that um, what we'd sown before has really like um, resulted in a community that isn't afraid to just go through some hard things together. How to describe it? When I'm in the ocean, um, I feel 
like the most connected to who God made me to be. Like it gives me that peace I think we were made to walk around with um, that's sometimes really hard to find in the rest of our day-to-day -day lives. It's like everything in me is like, ah, oh, this is who I'm, I'm meant to be. And that feeling of God being so much bigger, um, but so close. Ultimately, the mission, if you like, of Harbour hasn't really changed in, in 10 years. It's not sort of stale, dull um, religion. It's a living, exciting adventure. It's always been about being a fresh expression of, of church in, in Falmouth and about reaching people um, for Christ. The thing I really love and I really feel called to is to love God's people and support God's people and encourage God's people. Just to be someone who's able to remind people that they're loved and cherished by God. And I feel honoured really to be a Cornish man who can uh, serve God in Cornwall. It feels like a very special thing.